Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm going to do my sample project pan update for you guys. As you well know, this project pan is in collab with Stacy here, or no, not here on YouTube, but on Instagram. And as always, I will leave her link here and down below so you guys can go and check her out. She just did a empties update and it was freaking phenomenal. Like, I can't believe how many empties she gets. She's really amazing, like way more amazing than me, but I'm just having fun with this and I'm using up a lot of samples. So I just wanted to go through them really quickly with you and tell you my thoughts on them. Once again, I don't have like a million, but I do have a few this time around and I have a bunch of progress for you on my other products that I have. So I'm really excited to show you the progress that I have as well. So if you want to see my sample project pan empties and progress, then just keep on watching. Let's get into the empties first as per usual. So first I want to talk about this body wash that I have here. This is the Caress Fine Fragrance 12 Hour Fragrance Relief in Misty, Mystique Forever is the um, fragrance. So this was amazing. <laughs> I probably got a about seven uses out of this, I would say. Like I said, it's a shower item, so I don't like to mark my shower items with, with Sharpie because that would just be a lot of work and I feel like it would just rub off anyways. Um, but I really, really did enjoy this one. It was a purple shower wash, but typically Caress, the brand as a whole, will hurt my hoo-ha when I wash down there, if you know what I mean. Sorry, once again, if that's TMI, but I have mentioned that before. But this one did not, like, I always want to test new ones out to see if the formula has changed, and I definitely think this one has because it didn't hurt down there at all, which I really appreciate it. And it smells amazing. Oh my god, you can still smell this. I will definitely be putting this on my list to repurchase. It was so good. I will, I kind of compared this to the Nest fragrance. It has more of a floral scent than the Nest fragrance, but it has that rich, deep scent that I really, really like. And I really enjoyed this. Honestly, I would totally repurchase this. It was a water base or a gel base wash instead of the cream base, which is what I like. I don't like the cream bases as much because they don't feel as cleansing on the skin. But I really, really like this and I would totally repurchase this. The next thing, you guys will be so proud of me that I finally freaking finished it. It is the Face Soap and Clarity Vitamin C Facial Wash by Soap and Glory. And this sucker is empty. I seriously like squeezed and squeezed and squeezed it as much as I could to get everything out of this little guy. And I finally <laughs> emptied it. So. I have a pro and a con about this. I really liked this facial wash overall. I actually would repurchase this in a second, but the reason why I won't be repurchasing this is that it did have, if you guys can see these like little pink microbeads in there, and those, I mean, they didn't do anything to my skin. They didn't like hurt my skin or feel good or anything like that but they are very, very bad for the environment. So with that being said, I won't be repurchasing this. They do have like a really big bottle. I can put a picture on the screen here of the big bottle you can purchase. And I would totally purchase that if they just wouldn't put those stupid little microbeads in there. The facial wash itself was very cleansing, very clean feeling on my skin. It didn't feel like that squeaky clean feeling like I like. It didn't have that like minty feeling on my skin, unfortunately, but I really did enjoy this and I thought it did a great job with clearing my skin, especially in the shower when I'm not looking for a physical exfoliant. Um, but it's got the freaking microbeads in there. So Soap and Glory, if you're listening, just make this without those pink microbeads in it, please, because I really want this. I really liked it. And I'm kind of sad that I can't purchase it because I, I just, I won't. I, it's not good for the environment and I don't want to do that. So anyways, I would recommend this if it didn't have those in there, but I just can't recommend it. But I really, really liked this one and I would totally use another sample if I got one. The next empty I have is a sample perfume. This is just like the little Sephora container that you can get. What I really loved about this one was this was the extra sample that I had picked up from Sephora in the Toka fragrance or the Toka brand. And this was in the fragrance Florence. I 
love this. You guys know that I picked up a full size of that. In my past couple of videos, I mentioned that I picked up the full size and I displayed it many times because I love it so much. But this was just a little sample container of that. And they only filled it like this much. Like I was kind of disappointed that she just didn't fill it all the way up. You know, it kind of, I don't know, it was a little frustrating to me because I was like, okay, I really want like a good week's worth out of that. And this was only like two days, maybe three. Um, but it was enough for me to remember how much I liked the scent. And I did pick up the full size. I love this one. I definitely recommend it for the spring and summer. The next sample empty that I have, I didn't even realize that I was so close to the end of this one, but this is the Clarins Mission Perfection Serum. And this is to, this is the dark spot corrector and even skin tones and it has a healthy radiance. So to be totally honest, I did use this and it is like a pink I don't even know if I can I can't even get anything out of there but I will show you it's like a so this is like a pinkish reddish tone substance that comes out of here but I did put this in my t-zone area so where I typically get red so right here and on my forehead and on my chin um, those are the spots that I typically get my redness and I really didn't notice a difference was it nice on my skin yes did it sit well underneath my foundation yes was it it was more like a primer than anything else like i would still wear a primer with it but i just i don't know like i don't know i do feel like i got a lot of uses out of this i wish i would have marked this the amount of times that i used it because i think that would have been helpful in my decision making to see if it would have been worth it to buy um i i really want to try this again um I don't really know what to say about it other than I liked it on my skin. My skin really enjoyed it. Now, do I think it brightened my skin tone? Slightly, but truly I don't think it corrected any dark spots or anything like that. I didn't notice any difference in that department. Um, did it give me a healthy radiance? I do feel like it did. Underneath my foundation or in days where I wasn't wearing foundation, I would put this on and I really did like it either way. So if I were to repurchase this serum, I would probably purchase it more for the use of being a primer. And honestly, I, you only need a tiny bit of this and a tiny bit goes a long way. Like I would do one pump on my hand and then I would pick it up and spread it all over and that was all I needed. So I do think this was worth it, but I don't know. I'm going to put it on my like maybe list because if it's on a really good sale or maybe the Sephora VIB sale, I might pick this up because I actually really did enjoy this. So the next sample empty that I have is this Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. And this was like the powdery facial wash. So I got this, not the last Christmas, but the Christmas before, and it has been sitting in my shower and living there because I would only use it like once a week because it was powdery and I didn't really like it that much and I didn't really feel like it worked and I don't know. Will I repurchase this? No. I know that it was on a sale during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale in the spring and I did not pick it up because I knew I had this small little sample and I wasn't in love with it. And for me, skincare, for me to repurchase it has to be something that I love, especially facial washes because I have found so many that I absolutely love and that work so well for me that it's really important that I only purchase things that I've used that I really love. And this one, I can't say that I do. Now, I do have the pre-cleanse wash, which is like the pre-cleanse oil, and I really do like that one. This one though, I don't think I will be repurchasing. Actually, I won't be repurchasing, but it was very nice and gentle on the skin. It wasn't as cleansing as I would have liked. I don't think it broke me out though, which was good but I won't be repurchasing this one. Now, as per usual, you guys know, I usually have a face mask in my sample empties because in my opinion, face masks are samples because they're only a one-time use. So I can't get like a month's worth of uses out of a face mask unless it's like in the tub or in the squeezy tubes or stuff like that. So I used up the Bio Republic Pomegranate Crush Illuminating Fiber Mask and this is with vitamin E and is for all skin types. So this one I did end up leaving on for about 20 minutes and I did like it but this one in particular did the least amount for my skin. So I've had a few face masks in the past. Um, one that I can particularly think of is the, um, the Leaders Honey Skin Soft Mask. 
I think that's what it's called. I'll put a picture of it here. That one I have raved about because I used it one time and I loved it. It felt so good for multiple days on my skin. It was so soft. Now this one just felt hydrating. It didn't feel like it did anything special. It says for radiant, fresh, and balanced skin. And I just... I wasn't a fan. I would not repurchase this one in particular. I did like the smell of it. I know that's kind of weird. And I will say the one thing that I really did like about this is that there isn't a ton of essence in the bottom of it. So I didn't feel like I was wasting a ton of essence because you guys know I don't like to use the extra essence because I'm not sure if it's going to break me out or not. And this one didn't have a ton of extra essence in it, which made me feel better that I didn't feel like I was wasting it. But I won't be repurchasing this. It didn't do anything special for my skin and I didn't notice anything different about my skin after I used it. And I always use face masks, especially the um, fiber masks at night. But one thing I will say about this brand that I really do like is that the face mask is biodegradable. So it is better for the environment than like your typical, I don't know, non-biodegradable mask. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like it makes me feel better when I throw it away that I know it's going to break down back into the earth. So anyways, and the last sample empty I have is actually these sample cards of perfumes. And I just wanted to touch on them very, very slightly because I got these in one of my Sephora orders. And I don't know if you guys can see them, but I will show them close up. But these ones were interesting because they give you like a quick smell test and I feel like that was enough for me to say if I would like it or if I wouldn't. I will put the full size of what it looks like on the screen so you guys can kind of see. So the first one was the Dior J'adore, J'adore, I don't know how to pronounce it. It says on here, a sparkling floral that exudes elegance and confidence and the keynotes are Lang Lang, Rose, and Jasmine. So I put a like a meh face on there because I put it on, like I rubbed my hand all in it, you know, and I just, I don't know, it wasn't. It wasn't my favorite, but I didn't hate it either. And I just feel like this combination was just okay for me. I would, I feel like I would like it if I was a little bit older. Um, not saying that this is like an old fragrance, cause it's not. Let's be real, tons of people have this one. I know I've seen this in many people's perfume collections, but it just wasn't quite for me and what I like right now. So I'm gonna pass on this one. The next one I have is the Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Garden and this says a luxurious and floral with soft sweet and milky tones and the keynotes in here are magnolia flower coconut and almond milk I do remember I really really liked this one um, this one gave I gave it a, a smiley face oh my gosh yeah I just smelled it and I remember this one the coconut in here and the magnolia flower are what make it so delicious smelling and I really really liked this one this one reminds me of like a hot summer day where you want to cool off but you don't want like something heavy on your skin like it's almost like a facial mist type of smell to me I really really liked this one and this is one that I may pick up in a sale or something like that I'm not really sure these ones are quite expensive but I really liked this one the next one I have is actually a dual and it is the the Marc Jacobs original Daisy and the Marc Jacobs um, Daisy love which is the new fragrance so the original Daisy I did not like at all. I'm so glad I've never picked that up because I just didn't like it. And the Daisy Love, I really enjoyed. How is it that they smell slightly similar, but they smell totally different to me? I don't know. But what it says is a youthful take on Daisy with ripe berries and soft musk. And the keynotes are cloudberries, daisy tree petals, and musk. And honestly, I really like the undertone of musk in fragrances. I don't know what it is about it, but it just has this richness to it that I really, really enjoy. And I noticed that a lot of the fragrances that I really like have musk as a base note in them. So I really did like the new Daisy Love smell. Oh, it's so, it's all, it's very, very spring-ish to me. Like I smell this and I think of going on the boat. 
that's what I think of. I feel like I'm on the boat, in the water, smelling the breeze, and this is the fragrance I have on me, and it just smells so good. That's what it reminds me of. I know I'm weird, but I would definitely not purchase the original Daisy. The next one I have here is the Prada Candy in the new smell of Sugar Pop. This one says bursting with tart bergamot and sweet vanilla for, for a flirtatious fun energy. And the keynotes are bergamot, white floral accord, and vanilla. Yeah, I now that I'm smelling this again, I don't like this one at all. <laughs> I remember because this one was like the sample pack where you can actually put a little bit of like the essence, like it's like, almost like a gel substance on your body. And I remember I liked it at first and then it mixed with my like my natural body scent and it just didn't mix well. That's why I gave it like a meh kind of face. But now that I'm smelling it again, I'm definitely not going to repurchase this. I did not like this one at all. I do like all of those scents that they included in there, but I just, I don't know, something about the combination of them together just wasn't right for me. And if I'm looking for a sweet candy type scent, I like a lot of other fragrances instead. So the next one is my favorite, my absolute favorite from the bunch. And this is the Nest Fragrance in Wisteria Blue. This is their new fragrance that they came out with. And this says a freshly cut bouquet of still dewy wisteria blossoms. And the keynotes are French wisteria, Bulgarian rose, and imperial jasmine. I love this one. Like I'm still remembering when I put it all over my wrist and I smelled it. Oh my God, I don't have it on today, <laughs> obviously. But I really, really like this one. It is more, you guys know that I really enjoy the, the Nest fragrances. I have Indigo right now and I love it, but that one's more of a fall winter scent for me. I also really like the Midnight Floor. I think that's how you pronounce it. And that one's also more of like a winter fall scent to me, but this one is the one I definitely feel like I could use for the spring and summertime. This one's so light and fresh and delicious smelling. I really, really like this one. This is my next one on my list. Besides the Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Garden, I really like both of these. I was so, so pleased with these, but this Wisteria blue one, oh my god. I want to go in the store and get a sample of this because I'm pretty sure that's going to be my next fragrance per purchase. Like I'm almost 100% certain. And the very last one that I have here is from Tom Ford and then this is the Eau de Soleil Blanc. I'm, I'm trying here. And this says like a sun drenched citrus breeze on a warm sandy beach. And the keynotes are bergamot, orange bitter or purr and pistachio. So this one I liked at first, but this one reminds me of like a fresh linen scent. And this is from Tom Ford. So this is ridiculously expensive for what it is. Like, I feel like this is a mix between my soap and my dryer sheets and it like mixes up into a fragrance. And that's what I feel like this fragrance is for me. I really, thought I liked it at first and then once again it is like that gel packet that they give you so with that I was able to put it on my skin and see how it mixed with my body scents and everything and I I gave it a meh because I liked it but then I didn't and I wasn't really sure but I'm not going to repurchase or I'm not going to purchase this one um it's, it's way too expensive. I mean, it says the 3.4 ounces is $171. Yeah, no, I am not going to purchase a fresh linen scent for $171. It's not going to happen. So out of all of those scents, the only two that I would definitely consider purchasing are the Nest Fragrances in Wisteria Blue and the Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Garden. Those were the two that I really, really enjoyed. And I'm going to look up um, fragrance.net. I know they don't have Nest Fragrances, but they might have the Dolce & Gabbana. I know it's a newer one, but we'll see. So those were all of my sample empties for this month. If you guys are only here to see my empties, then thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you want to see my update for all of the empties, I'm just going to run through them super quick here and go from there. So I really am looking forward to showing you guys all of the progress I have made on a lot of these samples. I have made so much progress. Oh, let me go get two more samples. Hold on. Okay, lovely. So I have a ton of 
progress to show you. So this was the hand cream that I had in my backpack that I couldn't find forever. And it's just this, I don't know, off-brand Kerbakken Camille hand cream. I don't know. This is where I was at the first update and this is where I am now. I will tell you guys, this is a decent hand cream, but it's very, very greasy on the hands, but I feel like it protects my hands for a lot longer than other hand creams that are not as greasy, if that makes sense. Like this is definitely more of the greasy, oily type hand cream that kind of feels gross on your hands, but it does dry down pretty quickly, but it really sinks into the skin. So I like that one. Then I have a shampoo and conditioner that I have been trying out in the shower. This is the Pantene Pro V um, <laughs> Daily Moisture Renewal Shampoo and Conditioner. And I don't know, it says, I like this. This is the shampoo and conditioner I use today. And I do feel like it makes my hair very soft, but I can't tell if it's just because I'm switching from my other shampoo and conditioner to try this one out. I'm not really sure. Sometimes I think that shampoo and conditioners are a lot better than they actually are because I'm just switching them. Um, so my hair is like kind of surprised when it, you know, gets the new one, if you know what I mean. Anyways, I've been liking that so far. Then this is the other lotion that I couldn't find that was in my, uh, my jacket for work. And you guys know I wear a scrub jacket. So that's where I was last time and that's where I am now. And this is um, Rain Kissed Leaves Body Lotion by the Signature Collection from Bath & Body Works. And it's very, very scented. So if you're not looking for a super scented lotion, I would highly suggest not getting that one. Um, but that is one that I picked up from a hotel on the way down to Florida. So I've just been using it up and it's been perfect for my pocket because it's so small. And then I've been using up this Bath & Body Works pocket bag in Berry Scary Ghoul Friend and is the antibacterial hand gel and that's where I was last time and that's where I am now and I feel like this is going pretty quickly but it does have a glitter in it which is making it really hard to use at work because of the glitter so I don't know about that one yet. I would probably pick up another one. It smells delicious but I don't want one with glitter in it if that makes sense. And then I have the John Frieda Frizz Ease Daily Nourishment Moisturizing Conditioner. This one I have used three or four times now and I probably have one to two more uses left in this. I finished up a conditioner that matched one of the shampoos in my shower so I've been using this in lieu of that one. So, so that's been going actually pretty well. I have been enjoying that one. Then since I finished that other face wash, or those two other face washes actually. I have been using the Biore Freer Pores Baking Soda, great for combination skin, baking soda, acne scrub, and this is a physical exfoliant, so I'm not always in love with physical exfoliants, but I have been using this quite a bit and I have been enjoying it. Then I have this Caviar CC Cream 10-in-1 Complete Correction Leave-In Hair Perfector. So this one, I was here last time and now I am here. I have been marking this one, but I will tell you about this. If you put this in your hair, because I let my hair air dry, I don't blow dry my hair very often at all, like almost never, because it's really, really bad for my hair and it's bad for your hair and it gives me split ends super easy and it makes my hair frizzy and anyways, I just don't like it. But I have noticed when I put this in my hair, when it's already on the way to being dry, it makes my hair so greasy, even the tiniest bit makes my hair super greasy, so I don't do that. I only put this in my hair if my hair is like soaking wet still. That's the only time this will work for my hair. Otherwise, my hair, I have to wash it the next day because it's so greasy. Don't like that. So, I don't know. I'm mixed, I'm, I have mixed feelings about this so far. I have only used it about 10 times or so, and I'm just like, meh right now. Then I have this body butter that I have been keeping by my bed and I've been using it only as a hand cream because I'm thinking it's starting to go bad because the color is changing. The scent is still perfectly fine so I'm almost, I'm gonna use it up. I'm getting there. But this is the Pacifica Natural Body Care Island Vanilla Intensely Moisturizing Body Butter with Shea and Mango Butters. And yeah, I've just been really enjoying this. 
and where is it at this is where i was when i first started that was the last update and that's where i am now i have been using this like crazy at night and in the mornings once in a while i will put it on as well just to kind of get it up get it used up a little bit sooner then I put these two in my progress, but I haven't made any progress on them because they are one-time use packets. Maybe this one's going to be a two-time use, but I have the OGX Damage Remedy and Coconut Miracle Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. I plan on having this in my empties in the next round. And then I have the Shea Moisture Sacha Inchi Oil Omega 3, 6, and 9 Rescue Bubble Bath and Body Wash with Quinoa and Rose of Jericho Extracts. So this one I plan to have in my empties next time as well. I also have two lip gloss samples to share with you guys because I have been trying to use up some of my products because I just, I don't know, I don't have a lot of makeup products in my sample empties. It's a lot of skincare and hair care and stuff like that, so I want to have more makeup products. So I have been using the Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy, and this is in the shade Milkshake, and that is where we are currently right there. So I plan to have this one used up sometime before the summer. And then I also have the Buxom Full-On Lip Polish in the shade Emma. I love this one. I'm going to be really sad when it's gone, but I've been really enjoying using it. And that is where we are there. And yeah, so I love this one. It gives me such a beautiful, just like glow to my lips. It's so healthy looking and it feels so nice on the lips. So bear with me guys. I only have three more. <laughs> So the next one I have is the Hanalei Lift Treatment. I have been using this every other day about and it is getting very, very empty. So I plan on having this hopefully in my next empties, but I don't know, we'll see. And then I've been using the Air Repair Complexion Boosting Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid. And this one I have used 17 times. I've been marking it every time I've been using it and I've been really, really enjoying this one. It's down to here, so we're getting really good progress on that. That one's gonna be gone very soon. And the final thing I have that's so freaking close to using up, I really wanted to finish it before this update, but I really wanted to film this update and get it up for you guys. And this is the Platinum Skincare Platinum Eyes. And this is the eye cream. And look at how much I have left, you guys. Seriously, it's like down to the edges of the bottom, but I cannot throw that away, nor can I waste it. Cause I was like, oh, I could just put the rest of that like on my face. And I was like, you know what? No, it is such a good eye cream. I only want to use it as an eye cream. I don't want to waste it. So that is going to be my sample empty for the next round. I know it will be done because obviously I have to sleep, you know, and that's what I use before I sleep. So anyways, oh, you know what? I forgot to give you my perfume samples that I've been using. So I've been using another sample of this Prada candy because I had it. So I figured I would use that one. And then I've been trying out the Ralph Lauren sample in Romance. So that's where I am on those. I will show you them together. They are almost at the exact same level. So I'm hoping to have those as empties as well for the next round. That was a lot of sample talk for this round. And I hope you guys enjoyed this update for my sample project pan. Make sure you check out my Instagram feed as well. Sometimes I post photos on there of like things I'm using for the day and my nail polish color and stuff like that. So I'm also doing random hidden giveaways in my videos so make sure you go and check out my collab with Angela here on YouTube and it is called the spring and summer beauty and lifestyle must-haves and I do have a hidden giveaway in there so make sure you check out that video on my channel to enter the giveaway it's gonna be over very soon so make sure to do that so you don't miss out on hidden giveaways because they're gonna be all over the place but there is no hidden giveaway for this one. Sorry to let you down if you were hoping for it, but I hope you guys all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.